today I found out that these Falcons came with two different types of vent systems, the poverty spec and the uppity spec. So today I'm going to show you how to put the uppity spec onto your base spec Falcon. Why didn't Ford just put these on all the Falcons? Putting different spec interiors into cars is definitely not unique to Ford. Everybody does it. And in this instance, if you bought yourself a Falcon that carried used tires around, well, you were good enough to get vents for your face or your legs. But if you could swing being the manager of the local Bunnings store, you got vents for both your face and your legs. Now, if you've followed my channel, you know that I'm the type of guy who likes to restore and improve on things. Upping the interior in this ute is definitely one of those things that I want to do. I want to turn this gas-powered ute into a nice, super clean daily that anyone would be proud to drive around. Hopefully, with your help in the comments below, let's turn this into a nice, unique daily. And for all my overseas friends, I hope you do come along for the ride as well and find out a little bit more about these utes that are unique to Australia. So getting this ute looking schmick is, I hope that's something that interests you. And if it does, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe, hit that sub button. And really, come on, hit that sub button. I'll wait. I hope you subbed, let's get down to business. Here is the uppity spec version of these uh, dash vents guys and this here is the passenger side with a long pod blade over here. These are obviously removable and in my case they're also scratched up. So the first thing I'm going to do with these is uh, get them painted so that they look decent. This entire set came from about three different cars. They're becoming harder and harder to find so I've got a few little scratches and marks that I've got to fix up with some paint. The next thing I want to do is go into the car and show you how easy it is to take these things off. Grab yourself a Phillips head and that's all you're gonna need. You've got this black plastic trim piece, it's not silver. So what you gotta do is open your glove box, reach underneath and just pull away like that. And then on this side, you're going to have this plastic piece over here. So again, just pull it away. Okay, there you go. So now that that's off, you can now carefully maneuver this off. So just be careful if you want to keep this, try not to break it. There it goes. So you just got to pop that off like that. All right, so now you have access. One, two, three screws. And at this point, this thing should just slide off. Now you probably know me by now while I'm in here, I just have to clean things out. So have a look at this, right? Oh, you work at the front of McDonald's and you serve customers, do you? Well, you can only have one vent then. We'll block this one off for you. Serving customers is beneath you. You actually run the store? Well, in that case, you get two vents. It, it would have cost them more to make both types of vents instead of just making one vent style with both in it as opposed to making a second vent just for the poor people. Crazy, right? It would have cost them more to make both vents. Why discriminate? There we go. A win for the little people. <laughs> All right, that's in. I'm not gonna put the pot on just yet. Like I said, I wanna paint it first. But for now, let's get the other side off. Fuse cover off. Take this plastic piece off again. Lower pod comes off. Screwdriver. One, two, three. Goodbye. Discriminating against poor people air vent. Hello, uppity spec air vent. All right, moment of truth. Let's try this out. So ignition on, I'm gonna get the fan going. Oh yes. All right, got two vents now, like a free person. 
All right, so lastly, I'm just going to restore these little pot pieces here. Also, my handles are a little bit wrinkled. This can happen with these cars, so I'm gonna take these off and paint them as well. So the rest couldn't be easier. We just got to put these pots back in. As you can see, I took these vents off and sprayed them. You don't need to do that. I just wanted to try to see whether it fits in with the center console a little bit better. And I think it does. I think it looks pretty good. But that's neither here nor there. You either want to do this or you don't. So to put these back on is simply a matter of clipping this into place. But to start with, don't forget about this. So in here there's a slot, so that goes in there like that. On the other side here, make sure that this clips in like that. And then it's just a matter of clipping it in just like that. Next, clip this back on. Beautiful. All right, I've got my hoardy toilet vents on on this side. Let's finish off the other side. Same kind of deal on this side. So again, it's gonna have a bunch of clips. So again, just feed through this clip first and then line everything up. There we go. This triangular piece goes back on. Fuse box cover. On this side of the steering wheel, there's a piece that goes in there, which I was missing before. But I've got a spare one. Perfect. And last but not least, um, if you recall, I took off the pods from the door. I'm just gonna quickly put these on. There we go, that finishes off things nicely, doesn't it? So there it is guys, if you've got one of these low spec Falcons, putting these uh, extra vents in could be one way for you to lift the cabin. Also, I'm in Australia, so during some of the more vents you've got, the better. But all in all, a nice little upgrade that I really think helps to lift things up in here. And now that I've got these in, I think one of the other things that would be great to do in here is maybe black out some of this trim. What do you think? Leave a comment below and let me know. I'm really enjoying working on this suit. There's something about Aussie cars, you know, they're rugged and they're pretty well engineered. I mean, there, there are a lot of plastics in here and nothing is super quality, but the engineering behind it is, is really, really good actually. Lots of parts are interchangeable, um, easy to find, not expensive. Um, nothing that I've taken off has broken. Everything went on just fine. So everything seems to be pretty well made. So all in all, this is a great little project ute. And if you want to see more videos on this ute, make sure that you check out my other vids on this channel um, that feature this ute or some of the other cars as well. Now finally, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps me out. And hit that like button if you like what you saw today. And if you like what you saw today, enough chit chat from me. Go ahead and try this on your car. Catch you next time.